I... I don't even know what to say. I went to Disney World for the first time ever with my children, which was their first time as well. We kind of got to share the experience together, and man, is it an experience that I will never forget. We spent most of our time in the Magic Kingdom, riding rides and greeting animated movie icons. My kids, both of them, really seemed to enjoy themselves, or maybe they were simply feeding off my energy, because I was having the time of my life. It was really cool to see my kids as happy as I was, and vice versa. I've loved everything about Disney ever since I was a kid, and living in the middle of the country, I simply never got a chance to come to this place. And, of course, when my kids saw the main mouse himself, Mickey, walking around outside, they ran right up to him, leaving me behind, forcing me to catch up. They hugged him and stood beside him to take a picture with him. I pulled out my phone and readied myself to take a shot, and as I did, Mickey, or the person in the Mickey costume, recentered his stance to be more evenly between the two kids. However, when he took a single step back, right into my daughter, the mouse man tried to catch himself, being caught off balance, and toppled backward to the asphalt walkway on which we stood. What I thought to be the worst part was when the head of the costume he was wearing popped off with a snap and rolled a bit to the side, causing my children to scream out in horror. I initially thought they perceived Mickey as being decapitated, but when I took my place by their side, ready to reassure them, I realized how very wrong I was. I've heard weird shit about Disney. Employees going missing, mascots being forced to wear not only the same sweaty suits between shifts, but the same undergarments as well. But I mostly tune out these claims as simple hearsay or maybe even isolated incidents. But that day, when I saw the flesh torn from the person's face, metal braces connecting the head mask to what was left of this person's skull beneath, and the sheer paleness of his skin, or what was left of it that I could see. There's things I'll never brush off a simple rumor again, and some things that both my children and I will never forget. Social media can be very unpredictable, especially regarding horror content. If this content gets removed, all new content will be simultaneously presented on various websites provided in the description to this video. Make sure to follow me in other digital spaces so that you never miss out on the terror. Also, if you like this video, Make sure to leave a comment and hit the like button. It helps the channel a lot. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy what's here, consider hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. Writing is a dream of mine, and it's all of you that make that dream come true.